the audio doesn't sync up, so bear with me. Hopefully it will no. work for me. What I'll do is I will come, and the first thing I do is open a new movie recording. That opens up a screen of just me talking. Hi, I'm talking. But I don't click record on the screen of me, just the movie recording. After I've got this opened up, I will come back over to QuickTime file and do a screen recording. Now I've already got that going right now because I'm recording. So I'll click screen recording and it will give me the option to record the whole screen or to record a portion of the screen. Um, right now I'm recording the whole screen and when I do my weekly sales update I'll record just like the top portion because I hide my numbers down below um, because it just looks tidier. So then I will come and open up whatever I happen to want to open up. Let's open Etsy today. Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. And you can't see me right now because I haven't done that yet. Let's view my shop just because why not? <laughs> so here we go so here I can move things around I can move windows um, and then I will bring this over you know and I can move myself over decide to make myself smaller or larger this is how I, I when I make my video about uh, my weekly sales update you see how it's smaller than the rest of the screen there's all this black area beneath us. Um, what I'll do is, this is when I just record a portion of the screen and not the whole screen. So, okay, I'm not sure what happened. My QuickTime player crashed out on me. So what I'll do when I am making my weekly sales update video is I, when I come over here to screen recording, a little window will pop up and it'll give me the option to click to record the whole screen or stop that. Or to like select a portion. That didn't work. <laughs> to select a portion of the screen. So what I'll do is just click and hold and select this part of the screen. Um, and then down here you can't see it. And this is where I hide my my numbers. When you see me looking down at my and I call it my cheat sheet or my numbers, that's where I'm looking down there. <laughs> and I'll squirrel through all of that. So that is how I do it. That is how I screen share. It's pretty easy. Um, I have found, like I said before, if I try to record this movie while I'm also screen share recording, my lips, the audio doesn't sync up. It just does something weird and wily on me. So that is my, um, <laughs> my video about how I screen share my um, desktop window and everything and an image of me. But I wanted to also, I was working on, somebody asked me, you know, to do a tutorial on how I use PicMonkey, and I did it, but the problem was, it turned into, this is the problem with PicMonkey, it's, it's so fun to play with. I was showing you how to use it, and then there's like a whole section of like, you can vampirize your photos, and so it just turned into me like, making myself look like a vampire. And then afterwards I realized, oh, I'm doing a tutorial. So I will redo the Pink Monkey tutorial and maybe I'll tack that on at the end because I just lost my way, which happens sometimes, as you as you probably know. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I hope you could find this useful. Uh, again, I am on a Mac, so I don't know if this is um, applicable on PCs or anything else, but yeah, I have, I have a MacBook Air. And so I'm using the camera that's in my computer, and I'm just talking to you. Probably need a, probably need a microphone, but yeah. Anyway, all right. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, find me on Facebook, Instagram, Periscope. I think I've given up on Twitter. I can't do it all. Um, Texas Gal Treasures, and I will talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye. Oh, enjoy yourself.